Hey, Hedens! Ceciliano29 sent me a message and reminded me of something that I left out of my top 10 list. And if I keep realizing things that I left out of the top 10 list, I'm going to have an additional 10 to go into the top 10 list. Uh, but this is definitely one of them. It's been done to death, um, but he wanted me to do one, so uh, I'm going to do one. Give you a, my own little twist on it here and there, and of course repeat some of the stuff that's been said over and over again. Here's, here's what he, uh, he wrote me. Hey King, I'm not sure if you've made a video focusing solely on this, but man, this needs to be made if it hasn't been made already. I just want to see a vid towards Theus and all of the first bullshit response that they always have to why uh, we don't believe in God. We say there's no evidence or proof of God's existence, and they retort, well, you can't disprove God. I'm so sick of that. It's like asking someone to disprove unicorns. It's stupid at best. Someone needs to yell at those these folks. It would just feel so gratifying to see you tear apart that one idiotic statement that these idiots spew. And for those of you who come to and watch most of my videos, you know that uh, Siciliano uh, replies to quite a few of them. And uh, he, uh, very intelligent guy, makes some very good videos himself, although he hasn't done anything uh, lately. Uh, but uh, but anyway, check him out. I'll put uh, I'll put his profile over here. For you guys check out. Um, but uh, okay, so here's the deal. There's no proof of God existence, and you can't disprove God. You cannot disprove a vague sense of God, but you can pretty much disprove the biblical God. God. Um, through the errors and contradictions of the Bible, and the mere fact that uh, if he really was God, then he wouldn't have said that the world was flat, blah, 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 blah. There's a, we won't get into all that. We're going to stick to the topic before any of you Christians go, it doesn't say that. Like, it does say that. Topic for another video. So, you can't disprove God. Is that supposed to be your idea of a, a reason for me to believe that there is a God? Because I can't disprove that he's not. I've used this a lot of times uh, when people uh, post things like that on my videos. I say, well, you can't prove that I'm a person. You can't. You can't prove that I'm a person. I could be a, um, a computer graphic that you're watching, and I'm simply you know, matched up uh, through animation to match the words that I'm saying, and I'm a recorded voice on, on a uh, computer simulated uh, voice that's typed in by a retarded monkey with special powers of typing. You don't know that. You can't prove that that's not what's really going on. Even if you met me, perhaps I was a um, very sophisticated and very lifelike android or cyborg or some other form of mechanical device that's made to look like a human. But I'm really not. I could also be an alien with the power to disguise myself and like a chameleon who can change his colors, I can change the shape of my face and skin and everything so that I look like a person when I'm really not. You don't know and you can't prove it. But are you going to believe that? Surely not. You wouldn't believe that because it's too ridiculous to believe. So the idea that there's no proof for God is not proof of God, or even a good argument for God. It's simply an argument of, so, I've used this one before too, um, I've got to have something around here I can stick in my pocket, no, I took everything out of my pockets, okay, we'll use this, close enough, alright, got a little black band here, uh, it probably goes in my daughter's hair, I don't know why it's on my desk. But it's the first thing I can find that would fit in my hand. All right, you see it. All right, I've just closed my hand. Now, do you believe that this thing is still in my hand? Of course you do. You, you watch me put it in there. There's no reason not to believe it's there. What if I told you that I have magical powers and have now made it disappear? You can't prove that I haven't. Because if, I'm, if you want me to open my hand, well, I'm just going to make it reappear because I don't want you to... To, uh, to know whether or not you are right. I want you to have faith. 
I want to test your faith that you believe that I'm magical. So that any time I want to, I just put something in my hand and I close it up and it goes away and it's gone. And I expect you to believe this on faith. And if you don't, I'm going to torture you forever. This is why you're... Um, and I'm kind of tackling two arguments at once here. That's why the idea that you can't disprove God. But that is no better of a reason to believe in a God, this all-powerful being who can hear my every thought, listen to my every word, see my every action, um, cares about my every moment that I do and keeps track of it for some particular reason and then at the end of it all decides whether or not I should live in eternal bliss or eternal pain. There is no evidence for God and therefore no reason to believe in a God. No more than there is a reason to believe that I can make something disappear in my hand. No more than to believe in the flying spaghetti monster, or the invisible pink unicorn, or the dancing magical uh, leprechauns, um, any of the other examples that have been used. This is a stupid, stupid, stupid thing to say. And if it's the best you've got, don't bother saying anything. Just say, well, I guess you don't believe and move on. Because you really show a lack of intelligence when you suggest that this is some sort of a good argument. Simple as that. Until you have evidence of, there is no evidence for, and therefore, not enough evidence to believe.